What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on Mquan Reviews with me, Mquan. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be talking about this, specifically this space, my desk space, my desk tour. This is a video that I wanted to put up for a long, long time. Uh, for some reason, I've just not got around to doing it, but recently uh, I've had the time, so that's one of the reasons why. But also because I've been using this background a lot more in my videos, and there are always comments that are left about specifics that are uh, on my desk. So I thought it'd be a great video to put together for you guys. Now, this is going to be like a minimal, uh, affordable desk tour because a lot of what I have. Uh, is actually quite affordable. Uh, it's not very expensive and I hope it can help some of you guys out in terms of furniture but also some desk ideas. But more importantly, and this is really important, this is not my perfect desk setup. If it was up to me and if I had the time, I would actually have a much different uh, desk set up so if you have any suggestions please feel free to leave them in the comments uh, in the comment section down below so many of you have noticed in my videos that i might feature outside this space for me was probably one of the biggest deals when um when we moved here it's the view out there i live on an island called arim island here in abu dhabi which is the capital city of united arab emirates which for those of you that don't know is in the middle east and there's a lot of high-rise buildings around us and some of the views are just absolutely incredible i'm really really fortunate enough to be living in this place it's the thing that puts me in a good mood and in the right mood to actually create content and and edit and do the rest of my work and stuff so this is a view out here we've got this kind of bay uh part as well which sticks out on this side so it gives you a slightly different view uh you can see down there there's swimming pools and some uh, cabanas and things and then a few other building complexes. You get plenty of views of the sea, which I'm a big, big fan of. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of like one of the big parts of my office space. Originally when I moved into this apartment, um, I wanted to have this desk and working area over here, uh, but unfortunately there weren't very many power sockets. There's in fact only one power socket behind this frame. So in order to get the wires going all the way across, it just wasn't worth it and I'd have to drill. Right, let's just uh, start on this side over here. Um, and I'm, what I'm gonna try and do is whatever I talk about, uh, I'm gonna try and list in the comment section down below so you can see if it's available online, the names and everything else. This is a tripod that I use. It's a pretty inexpensive uh, tripod. It's by Hammer. It's a really kind of, I think probably about $40, $50, if not cheaper, on Amazon and also on Souk. I also use another tripod, which is this one. It's a Joby tripod. Uh, this is a bit more expensive, about $100. Um, I don't use this as much, so uh, kind of if I'm out and about or if I'm using any of my cameras to vlog, I might sometimes carry that around, but this is quite heavy and also it just kind of looks very very obvious as well so and then this space this is a space that a lot of people notice and a couple of you guys will comment uh, you'll suss out there are products on this desk this is a desk or a side cabinet that I use to kind of store the products will come in that I need to cover Th this section for me is normally where I put products to help remind me that I'm gonna cover them or review them and then when I'm done with them I'll put them into storage this is I believe the Cullen um, cabinet. I'll double check and uh, post it in the comments uh, below. But this is kind of full up with just more packaging and, and kind of spare accessories like for example um, SD card, uh, um, USB-C. This thing which is very important particularly if you've got a MacBook Pro. Mm -hmm. Then I think down in here I've got some documents which I store. And then this is the main desk. This is the white desk. Um, it's it's not very expensive at all. I think this is probably about 70 to 80 dollars It's called the Mickey spelt m-i-c-k-e. It's I think one of Ikea's best-selling desks and it's really simple. I mean like It's white, which is what I wanted um, It's very long and narrow and they come in different form formations So you can actually have an L shape as well. I like the fact that it's got these two drawers which incidentally this drawer is full of the kind of I don't know like the stuff that I I don't need, but kind of need. So like I'm talking about AirPods or EarPods rather, um, cases, spare cameras. And then this drawer is where I will store the stuff that I kind of 
need needs. So for example, my glasses, you know, I've got my headphones that I might use for the gym, uh, passport, business cards as well. Yeah, I've got a couple of these business cards for myself. And then spare cameras that I kind of also use. This is Sony RX um, Mark VI, RX100 Mark VI that I use uh, for reviews on occasions. Spare SD cards, sometimes cash, and oh, some magazines. These are normally magazines that I'm featured in as well, so I'll kind of store some of these just for my own records. A couple of pens, I've started uh, writing a bit more. So here are two really nice Mont Blanc pens. Uh, both of them were in fact gifts. On the desk itself, normally what I do is I, I do all my editing on my MacBook Pro. I don't have a desktop. Uh, I've been thinking about getting one of the, uh, the new Mac uh, Pro, um, but I'm not sure. Like, I'm the kind of person that moves around a lot when I'm working, so sometimes I'll work in the other room. Beast of a machine. I think this is a 2017 model. Um, so yeah, that's that. Then on the desk here, I've got an iPad Pro. I don't use the iPad Pro as much as I would like um, because I keep going back to the Mac, uh, MacBook Pro. But yeah, the iPod, um, uh, I iPad Pro, sorry, is here. And then this is a really old kind of um, stand for it. I've had to put like a, a cloth down because if I don't put the cloth down, it kind of scratches up the iPad Pro, which, you know, yeah, that's the stand. I wouldn't recommend this stand, actually. It's just, it's here, so I'm using it. Oh, let me show you this, because this gets picked up a lot. This is actually like a miniature helmet, but it's really special because it's been signed by Lewis Hamilton, the man himself. I got this in Dubai when I, when I saw him back, I think in 2014 or 15. I've had a few people offer to buy this of me, but I've decided to keep this. So this is normally somewhere on the desk here. And it's a great kind of item to use, especially when you're testing out cameras and stuff. Over here is, those of you that know me, I'm really into my watches. So this is actually a watch winder from Wolf. Um, over here you can put like uh, your watch and have it wound. Um, you wind it, particularly automatic watches, to keep them, you know, on time. So I've got a couple of my watches in here. I've got a few other watches that I would put somewhere else. But um, here's where the GMT Master 2 is, normally stored um, somewhere on the desk. Uh, the kids are not here at the moment, otherwise I would actually store them in one of the wardrobes just to, to keep their hands off the desk. Uh, what else? Okay, on the desk here, this is another thing that I get asked a lot about. This is again from Ikea, and this is the name. It's called a Rigad, and essentially it's a lamp. Um, so obviously you've got the light that comes off through here, but down here you've got a wireless charger. So this is great. So, you know, uh, if I've got like wireless AirPods, they can charge on there. If I've got my iPhone, uh, it can charge on there. So it's actually quite a cool, uh, desk lamp stroke wireless charger all in one. I just wish you could charge multiple items, but that isn't the case. Also, it's quite slow to charge as well. Down at the bottom over here, I've got another one of those cabinets. This cabinet is used for storing just, you know, spare wires again, and old tech. Check this out, the old Palm Pilot Tungsten Palm PDA. Some of you will have no idea what this is, but those of you that are uh, 80s, 90s kids, I think you might appreciate this. This is something that I found recently, so I don't know, I'm trying to fix this and get this powered back up again. But yeah, just th th this drawer is used for just old wires, old kind of tech that I still want to keep. And then over here is uh, my backpack. This is a separate video that I'm going to do. I'm going to do what's in my tech bag, but this is a Tumi backpack. It's a really, really nice backpack. Over here, this is kind of cool because this is something that, um, yeah, a couple of years ago, I, that my wife did for me. It's like a frame with some magazine mention. So, uh, you know, Esquire magazine. I think there was a photo with the Esquire uh, Man at His Best award. And then some um, newspaper articles like the Gulf News. For now, this is something that I leave over here. It is also serves as another purpose. Check that. It hides the plug in the back. So 
yeah, that's kind of one of the other benefits of it. Wiring wise, I'm, I'm not really great with wiring. So you'll notice that there's some wires that kind of come out over here. The good thing about this desk, however, is that you do have that tray that goes underneath that runs all the way through. You can take the wires out from the back, which I think uh, is really cool. My desk chair. Now this desk chair is really interesting because it's again from Ikea, but it does a really, really good job. I've been using this now for two years. Um, it still has that comfort in the chair, back support as well. Um, I'm thinking about getting another chair, but I don't know, man, like all of this that you've seen here is both practical, it's kind of affordable, and um, you know, it, it does the trick, so that's why I've got it over here. Like I said, it's nothing really dramatic or different, but it is appropriate for me, the way that I kind of work. I know there are a couple of things that I'm in dire need of, one of them is uh, a good lighting lamp kind of setup so that I can kind of film in the dark. Quite a few of you do comment about the fact that uh, the lighting isn't as great. What I tend to do, and this is my own view, I tend to work with natural lighting because I think that's the best way of giving a focus, particularly on the color of products. And I think that's really, really important. So there's a reason why I don't use artificial lighting, but I do need to get some artificial lighting so that I can at least film in the evening. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave a comment down below and I will go and check those out. So guys, that's it. That's my setup for my desk space, my desk tour. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you're new around here, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm really close to 100,000 subscribers here on the channel. I've got tons of really awesome content coming up in the next couple of months. So stay tuned for that. That's it for me for now. I'm M. Kwan with my desk tour here on El Rim Island in Abu Dhabi. Until next time, peace and blessings.